As with every storm, surfers were out hoping to catch that big wave, but they weren't the only ones interested in the waves. Primarily we're concerned about the wave action and also uh, at the time of high tide when that comes in to see if there will be any flooding. Both police and fire departments are monitoring the storm. Storms on the seacoast often bring people out to watch, but the police chief says they need to use common sense. People come down and it's amazing to see that they're out there, they get up and they stand on that seawall and there's all kinds of rock and debris around them. And it's, that was Mother Nature that did that and it, it's still going on and uh, we, we have had people hit. And there are some concerns about possible flooding, especially in the low-lying areas. If any residents have any problems where they're having water inundate their basements or any other places where their utilities are kept, they can call the fire department and we'll come and assist them. So far, no evacuations have been ordered, but the police chief is anticipating that there will be streets that'll get covered with water. A number of our back streets uh, due to backwater flooding do get closed and uh, unfortunately people don't pay attention to the signs and they drive through the water and we have to have the fire department go in and get them out. While they're not expecting a great deal of wind with the storm, still it could lead to some downed wires and officials want to caution people to stay away from them if you see one of those downed wires. At Hampton Beach, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.